I'm going to start with Obi-Wan. So, wow. uh, the last episode, because you guys will dive into it more. The last episode was I everything have. I wanted in the series. It had everything I wanted. It had a big-ass fight. <laughs> it did. It had a big-ass fight with Obi-Wan big ass and Darth fight. Vader. <laughs> Uh, with Darth Vader everything was like back together like Leia went back to her wow. dad and like it was just all happy <laughs> you, you, you and love then, a good and ending. then when I was like yeah he's like and then he goes and sees wow. Luke oh, and then I was like yeah yeah and then and then when like and he, and he says hello there yeah. it's the best it's the best that too <laughs> and then the best part I was like oh it's a good episode we see Qui-Gon man we see him that was that. I literally uh, screamed "fuck yeah" uh, so loud by myself to the spoiler in the boiler room. room. <laughs> I like the series. I don't want another series. I don't want another Obi Wan series. I don't like. I think they should be done. If they do a Vader series by himself, just Vader when he's like doing fight, like the comic oh, book when he's doing, doing fights. Fight. No, like when he's fighting <laughs> <and> stuff. <laughs> I would love that. But as Obi Wan, I think it it just it should end. Augie was calling. That Qui Gon was gonna be in it, and then Qui Gon's in it, and I hated how they did it. He was in it for like two frames, and he was like, "Hey, they made no <laughs> big deal about it at all." And I thought he couldn't, he didn't have a Force ghost. Ghost. Oh, Joe. Ghost. He's kind of right. Joe. Yeah. What the hell? Wow. So He's kind of right. Broke the what I'll say though about the last, I would say the last two episodes, is what the whole series should have been. Yeah. Like, cause everything actually Absolutely. happened. Absolutely. Yeah, things happened. The plot That's moved. That's true. That's true. You know what I mean? Like, I was excited yeah. to see what was happening. The rest of the show, I was like, "This is boring." I but, like Vader was cool, seeing Vader and everything. The big thing that Amp said too about like the saber strikes being like nothing it's, it still holds true here. I think it's more true after this series, and it actually makes me mad. Mm-hmm. And the other thing that's making me mad about this <laughs> is why when they were fighting Obi Wan and and Vader. Vader like wins at one point, right? And he buries him. Mm-hmm. Why would he just kill him? Why does no one kill? Like no one kill? Like they never finish the guy off. Because and Wars. then oh oh well hey a, la- a laser through the chest that's finishing them off. No, it's not actually. Yeah. So can they make sure they're dead? That happened twice. Vader did to Obi Wan. And and, Obi and, did and, to, and then Obi, Obi did, did it to, to Darth Vader. Vader. No, it's can... like they they win. They're like, "Ha, I won!" And they're like about to die, and then they're just like, hmm. and they walk away. It's like, okay, look, literally turn the lights on and do this, <laughs> and that's it. You're done. <laughs> wow. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. I agree with you. Why? Like, I don't get it. I agree with you. I agree with it a lot. What Vince just said, especially about the last two episodes. Like that's all. That's all you needed. And I was yelling about it for the last five episodes that half of this is not needed and it's irrelevant. And yeah. it proved true because, again, the best part of this show and what we all wanted was Anakin and Obi-Wan. I, I know you can't just like put six episodes of that. I get that. But everything else turned out to be irrelevant. Oh, my positives. Wow. Go back to the wow. positives because I thought this episode was amazing. I had one of the most powerful scenes, uh, Joe. You, you Ma- maybe I want you in to, all of Star I want Wars. You to break down. In the f- the fight was wasn't like like uh, Empire Strikes not Empire Strikes Back Revenge of the Sith type of style. It was more like emotional. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, you were sad. You were sad. Before you were like, this is the craziest shit. Yeah. This time you're like, oh my God, look at these two like broken guys. Yeah. Like, like in, in Revenge of the Sith, it was more like an adrenaline rush, like holy shit. And then this one was like, I don't want either of these guys to I was die. worried. I yeah. was like worried. The moments that they gave us, like episode six, obviously, but like even the other ones, like seeing uh, seeing Vader in the village being ruthless Vader, like we never saw that. Mm-hmm. We never saw Vader, dude. The fight the fight between Riva and Vader, that fight was fucking crazy. We finally got to see the extent of Vader's power. Yeah, we finally got to see the extent of Obi Wan Kenobi's power when he lifts all the rocks. Like he was, that was we, a sweet. We scene. never we you never thought of Jedi like that because you know they just couldn't do that back in like the fucking seventies or like even the newer movies. Like you knew they were powerful, but just like to that extent, you just didn't know unless you read the comics or like read the books or something. Even Obi Wan Kenobi story from like broken Obi Wan Kenobi to Ben Kenobi. It it's stuff we never thought we'd see. Hayden Christensen fucking came to play, eh? His acting as Darth Vader, especially when the mask is cut, like that is some of the craziest star wars shit I, that's probably some of the best acting i've seen Man, him do in what, all of star wars when he's yelling at obi-wan and his voice is going like in and out from like vader and, and i love Anakin, that's that's i taken, was getting like that like i felt something that's like, taken wow. right from uh rebels <laughs> like, this show did tie up some loose ends 
I thought of the of the prequels and the originals. Did it open up new fucking question marks? Yeah, like for sure it did. Um, are like Vince is totally right. Qui Gon, last we heard and last I knew about, he couldn't. Uh, he could talk through the Force, but he could not appear as a Force ghost. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I thought it was it was awesome. Um, seeing more Obi Wan Kenobi was great. Seeing more Anakin, seeing more Vader was awesome. Like seeing even being on Tatooine and like seeing young Luke and Leia, like so- something we never thought we'd see like that was great. The the nods to like Padme, like all that, it was great. All in all, I fucking loved it.